Alright. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. This is Vertical Sandwich. How is everybody doing? So now, you're the only the second one to enter this room. A winner. The first was, I'll stop talking. Give general sleep to those who defeat you. That used to be the code of fighting men, so I follow that code. Go ahead and take whatever cards you like. I'm sorry, they're all used and old. Alright, he gives you a bunch of garbage cards. Yeah, four red bat cards. Two anaconda cards. It's like, uh, 12 days of Christmas, but with cards. So anyway, uh, oh, and uh, don't tell the old guy that you're the second guy to beat me. You know what that, what I mean. I have a reputation to protect. Yeah, whatever, okay. So if you go over here, um, somewhere, yeah, there'll be random items. Three of them. I think it's always three. Yeah, and like one massage for Mother's Day, it's like a year old. And there's all this random stuff in here you can look at. Like this. We met when a, the winds were becoming warmer. And like, this doesn't... I don't know. I've examined this stuff, like... I know, I'm, I'm really running by this really quick. But like, I've examined this stuff, but it doesn't seem to really even enhance anybody's backstory. So... Ah. Uh, otherwise, I'd show it. I'd be like, oh, this explains something about somebody. Um, but it doesn't. Ever. So, so just keep coming in and out of the room and checking out what the three items over here are. The yeah, antidote, antidote, soft. Because eventually, one of them will be in a cult fan magazine. So, again, in and out. Sorry, you have to watch this, but that's the way the game goes. Potion. Nothing. Antidote. Nothing. Nothing. Forget it. Nothing. Alright. In and out. Is that, the, that was the name of a movie starring Kevin Klein, I think. Wait, I know. I, I don't think I know. It was directed by Frank Oz, who did the voice of Miss Piggy. There. And had a kiss scene with him, and... Uh... What's his name? Oh my god. I know this. Oh. Uh, mustache guy. Tom Selleck. Tom Selleck and Kevin Klein kissing. It was very it was very disturbing. Because Tom Selleck's like a man, man, man's man. I don't know. It was just like... It bothered me. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong if you're a guy who likes to kiss other guys. I just... That particular scene just shocked me a little. Okay. So, out of the room, in the room. Jeez, Vertical Sandwich. <laughs> Your LPs sure are fascinating. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, look, it's, it's just like, although, you know, I had to find this out the hard way that, like, this is a trial and error situation. Um, you're actually kind of lucky I'm telling you that. Because otherwise, you could just dig around in this room for an hour without ever finding the thing you need. If you didn't know that you have to... See, kids like getting geezer cards and stuff, and like... We should actually mod away some of our lower level cards this year. Okay, so the notes in this magazine, like... Yeah, the fermented anaconda, like... Gets you drunk. Don't care. Uh... Best card game day of my life. Won a lot. The guy's name was Lag something. You never forget it where the opponent's name, but an easy win doesn't leave much of an impression. So apparently this guy beat the hell out of Laguna at one point. Okay. And then somebody hired a new owner for the pub. Um. And his meatloaf makes you sick. Um. But this last one, uh. I found out today that this magazine with the goofy name Boos Quarterly changed to. Uh. Uh. A cult fan. So. There you go. Now you know it used to be called, like, Boo Monthly. Not that that matters, either. Come on, seriously. Just, like... Forget it. I just want stuff. Yeah, like, this late in the game, who cares about, like, potions and Phoenix Downs and stuff, you know? I mean, I guess Phoenix Downs are always useful because... They bring a person back to life, and that's the big problem in the game, is that, like, if everybody dies, you lose. But... 
I do have to say that this is astoundingly obnoxious. Ugh. Come on. I may have to just forget this. I'm not gonna... I mean, there's something to be said for showing you guys what a pain in the butt this is, but... I mean, seriously. It's not even like I'm, the things I'm saying out loud aren't that interesting, so it's not like they're good jokes I need to say or anything. It's just like me blah blah blahing about geezer cards and Mother's Day coupons and not getting the occult fan magazine. I'm so sad now. No, not really. I don't really care. I'm gonna cut a bunch of those last things out. Alright, so there, we got it. Now, I cut a bunch of stuff out in front of that, I decided. So, uh... You won't probably see all the times I had to go in that room, but it was probably like 15 times to finally get it. And I don't know, I think this is the one we just got. I didn't leave it on the screen long enough to tell. But, anyway, so now we got the occult fan out of here. I showed it to you. I wouldn't recommend, because again, the card rules here are that they're random. So I wouldn't recommend playing that guy for the card he has. Again, he has a GF card, and you can play for it if you want. But it's kind of like Fisherman's Horizons, where the rules make it a big pain. So, I'm going to skip it. I would suggest you to. Okay, so now we're back at our airship. And uh, we are going to head to Ozeki Lake. Which is actually just right over here. See, there it is. And it has a peninsula in the middle of it. That's all you need to know. Okay. So, you come over here, and you get to the end of the peninsula and push the X button. Not this okay. This must be Odell Lake. Oh, it's, it's Oval Lake or whatever. So you can try humming, and then a black shadow ro rose to the surface. Try humming again. Hello, human, what a lovely tune. Okay. There's something large there. So, just keep humming. Oh, thanks for speaking to me again. I guess you don't get the humming. Again. Okay. Can you do me a favor? And then ask it what it is, obviously. It's my friend, Mr. Monkey. Can you find him for me? Please. Fine. It's not to go find a monkey. Anywho. A couple things are important about this. The monkey is actually right where we came from. Over by Dalai. But, um, you're going to see when we're pulling up that next to this forest that the monkey is in is this coastline. And that coastline is really important because it's... Maybe you won't see it, but... You'll see it when we're leaving anyway. At some point you'll see it. It'll be never... Okay, so there's the monkey. Throw a rock. You suck! <laughs> the monkey disappeared into the forest. You actually... Okay, there's the coastline. Right behind us. And that coastline has adamantoses, and if you beat them, they drop adamantine sometimes. And we'll be going through that later anyway, but I'm just going to mention it now. Because we're going to go through it because it's one of the hardest items to get in the game. But. Okay, anyway. So now you go back, and uh, we, can, we can't get the monkey right now anyway, I don't think. Maybe we can, I don't know. Maybe we, if we just thrown rocks at it a bunch of times, maybe we had been able. But anyway, uh, so throw a rock, and it'll say, like, the rock skipped once. And it'll, it'll be, it's random. Like, the rock skipped twice. Then you throw it, it's like, oh, four times. And then throw a rock. Five times. Throw a rock. And just keep doing that until it says the rock skipped many, many times. I've got to tell you the truth. I'm not exactly sure why you do that. But the... <laughs> The walkthrough, the first time I went through this, was very specific about having to do that. So I suggest you do it. Maybe you don't have to do it. I don't know. Maybe somebody put that in the walkthrough because they thought it was funny. But it will happen eventually. Five times. 
I think five is the most you can get without it saying many, many times. But, because I've never seen six. But we'll watch. Maybe we'll see six. Has anybody out there ever seen six? Raise your hand if you've seen six. I didn't see any hands, so... The answer must be no. And sometimes it'll say the rock sank. There we go. The rock skipped many, many times. Ta-da. Okay. So onward. So now we can go get the monkey. Or maybe we could have gotten the monkey before. I don't care. This is all going to work out in the end. So as long as it all works out in the end, I fulfill my half of the mark. <laughs> like... Um... Alright, but the monkey's still in the forest here. There's the monkey. Throw a rock. Ah, darn it! You're just a big loser! I'm able to skip the rock as many times as I want, so there! Haha, <laughs> loser, dork, idiot, your mom wears combat boots! Okay, so see, I thought that wouldn't happen if we skipped it, so maybe I am wrong. Ouch, did it, darn it! You gotta pay for that! The monkey threw a rock at you and ran. Upon inspecting the rock, it looks man-made and it has some carvings on it. You are H A E O. Is this part of something? Okay. You found the monkey, you big dork! Monkey disappeared. Okay. So anyway, well, all we needed was the rock. We didn't really need the monkey. So, uh, the rock is part of something. There's three other rocks with letters on them that we have to find. And then they'll tell us where there's a treasure. Kind of. But then we have to go through a whole big thing. That's really obnoxious. So, but the treasure's worth it. So I suggest you do this. I mean, you don't have to. You can be like, no vertical sandwich. We're gonna skip ahead of this. Watch part 120 of this when you finally face the end boss. Okay, so the Black Shadow, you gotta keep talking. Relate the whereabouts of Mr. Monkey. He says, thank you. Okay. Oh, yeah. At the beach in Blum, something special washes ashore. Okay. There's three different places that there's a rock, and then there's a, a fourth place where there's something else. And they're random. So it might tell you to go somewhere else first for a different rock, but eventually, if you follow all the hints, you'll get all the rocks. So. And they'll always be for the same places. Like when it says, you know, eventually it will tell you Balam Beach. And they have to come over here. And on the beach there are a bunch of rocks that are just normal rocks. And you can find them too. But you found a piece of rock by your feet. It looks man-made and has some carvings on it. Oh, we got a first try. SGS LRM. Okay. Seems like the same rock I picked up before. And that's gonna happen. It's gonna be two more rocks now with letters on them. And he'll, it'll always be the same thing. It'll say the letters and be like, oh, it looks just like this rock I picked up before. So. Alright. So back to the lake for more clues. And it's gonna be really obvious, like, once you. Okay. Hello! Mysterious writing on the rock. And he'll tell you. I mean, you can write them down, but, like, once you see them all, it'll be really obvious. Oh, yeah. There's also something on top of a mountain with a lake and cavern. Okay. This is really weird. Okay. So, what you wanna, what you wanna do is a mountain with a lake and a cavern. You don't need to know any of that. Because there's no lake and there's no cavern, to my knowledge. That actually, where it is, is over by Galbadia Garden. There'll be this cliff with a waterfall in it. And like, that's what you want to look for, and land on that cliff. So you can't do this quest until you get the Ragnarok. Just so you know. Huh. So what you're going to want to find is... You're going to want to follow the river. There's a couple rivers on this continent, and one of them will... Yeah, see, this is not... This is not helpful. Okay, here we go. River into the mountains. Yeah, see there. There's, like, the waterfall. So land up here, and run around, and hit X and stuff. Hmm. Well, we're not having the greatest luck. See, there's Galbadia Garden. It should be right around the edge here, so... Oh, there we go. A bird is warming an egg. Check it out. Okay, and then you have to fight these things. 
These are called like Thrustaviuses or something. Or now we have chance for a first strike. That's great. Aw. Oh. Well, there. That makes up for missing. See, Zell hit his target, Quistus. What were you thinking? Alright. Alright. Oh, we got a bunch of windmills. Okay. Good, because windmills are one of the things that we need for ultimate weapons as well. Although... Um, there's another place that you can get them, and I'll probably run over that, but, like, these are one of them, so... So here, it's this is our third rock. Okay. So now we can go back to the lake. And we've only got one more to find, so... Okay. So out onto the peninsula. Yeah, okay. Hello! Mysterious writing on the rock. So there's our three clues. I wonder what it means. What a beautiful day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've already done that. Like, we need hints. Come on. Hello? Oh, yeah. You'll find something on an island east of Timber, too. Okay. The other thing it'll say, because it's not gonna say it now, because this is the last rock hint. There's a fifth hint that says, like, to go to some peninsula, and then you'll find, like, a thing that says treasure on Mindy Island, which is down by Cactor Island. And when you find Mindy Island, uh, you can, uh, You'll find a luck junction scroll there. We're not going to try to do that. Because it's a luck junction scroll and I don't care about it. So. It'll actually say treasure on Mindy Island, but like with the words time and off in it. So it looks all scrambled. So these are all four of the, the things. The letter things. And again, if you wrote them down, good for you. And you can try to figure it out if you want. But if you just go back to the lake, he'll put them all in a way that makes them... It makes it impossible to avoid. Okay. So. Here we go. This must be all the rocks. Okay, so if you look at it this way, it says... From the top right corner, it says Mordred Plains has treasure. So from the top right corner down, and then, like, keep going down from the top, like, Mordred Plains has treasure. See? Okay. Mordred Plains is the plain north of Esther. So that's just not it. I mean, it's just we can't just go there and there'll be a big treasure box there or something. This isn't Super Paper Mario. Oh. Um, we actually have to go there, and what will happen is there'll be a bunch of rocks that are all different colors that talk to us. And there'll be white rocks that give us directions, and red rocks that give us directions, and blue rocks that say, like, that say nothing, and, like, black rocks that always say, like, the treasures to the north. And really, the only way I've figured out that you can navigate this is that the red rocks always lie. So always do the exact opposite of the red rocks. And always ask them twice, because they'll give you two different directions. So this may take a while. So, um, the white rocks will say randomly thing, random things, and I don't think you can trust them at all. I don't know. That, that may not be right, but, um, I've done the, yeah, see, there are many multicolored rocks with faces all over the place. The black-faced rock tells you sternly, the treasure is probably in the direction of the North Star, and that's what the black-faced rocks always say. Now, the red-faced rock tells you angrily, treasure to the north, so it's to the south. Because you can count on the red-faced rocks to lie. The blue-faced rock never gives you any information about direction, just says things like, people call us the liar's rock. So the red-faced rock says north, so we go south. See, and the black one always says north star. Yeah, treasure to the north, okay. Treasure to the north. You want to ask the red-faced rocks twice, because sometimes they'll say west, and then they'll say, like, when you ask them a second time, they'll say, like, north. So then you know it's to the east and to the south. Makes sense. Yeah, people call us the liar's rocks. Okay, treasure's to the west. 
and then, yeah, so east is the only direction we've got. Yeah, yeah, and like I said, the black-faced rock always gives you the same direction. So you really have to keep moving in whatever direction you were moving last time until you hit another red-faced rock. The treasure's to the west. The treasure's to the west, so it's obviously to the east. Yeah, and again, black-faced rock, no help. It may help you to do this, to turn the camera, get the camera above you, and turn the camera to the north so you know, like, east is to the right. See, the white-faced rock tells you it's south, and that one says it's south, and then, like, yeah, I don't know if the white ones, I don't know what the pattern is with them, but... It's south. It's north. See, we had two right next to each other, south and north. So, like, I don't think the white ones, I think they're just random. Okay, treasure to the east, which means to the west. Okay. Treasures to the north. Okay, so to the south. And eventually, you'll hit um, a red-faced rock that says the treasure's not here, and then you talk to it the second time, and the treasure will be there. Because it's a liar, you know. So, when it says no... See, there we go. Okay, we got it. Awesome. That was way quicker than I thought. Three three stars. And, like, three stars is one of... The, this is probably the rarest item in the game. This is the only place you can get it except for modding Squall's card. And the thing that's important about it... Is that it... They refine into 100 triples. Like, which is a crazy amount, like, 100 triples junction to your speed makes your character as fast as possible. So it's a really valuable item. So. Oh, you can also use it to get the extend 3x to 1 ability, but, like, that's a crappy ability. So. Now we just gotta find out where we parked our thing. And then we can leave. And go do something else. So there we go. So I'd strongly suggest you do this quest because it's pretty easy. And it's pretty obvious. Um, and you know it produces one of the most valuable items in the game. So so all right, uh, we're gonna be heading up to Shumi Village to do our last quest there. Um, so I'll talk to you guys later. And thanks for watching. It's always appreciated. And uh, I'll talk to you next time. Bye, everybody.